we were just working regular patrol. Um, I don't remember it being that crazy of a night. Um, we got dispatched to the call on Highland. We were close, so we were the first ones on scene. We were probably there 10, 20 seconds after it was dispatched, and we pulled up, and there was smoke billowing out of all the windows, and you know you could see fire, you know, in some of the windows coming out of the door. Usually, when there's a fire, AFD's there when we get there, so we kind of just do crowd control, or we block an intersection, or um, so for us to be the first ones on scene was actually pretty surprising. Somebody ran over said, hey, there's a, there's a woman on the second floor on the other side of the building. So I ran over there with them, and sure enough, there's a, an elderly woman. And she, it didn't appear that she had any idea that the building was on fire, but you could see that her apartment was filled with smoke. Um, so we're kind of yelling at her um, to get her attention, and she, she wasn't, I mean, she had no idea. AFD, another engine showed up, uh, and I ran over and yelled, we need a ladder on the side of the building. Uh, the fireman brought it over, he went up the ladder, he went in, um, I just went up after him. Yeah, I just didn't want him to be up there by himself. He carried her over, brought her over to the window, covered head to toe in soot, um, and she was kind of fighting us a little bit, you know, struggling away, and she just, I'm not sure what was going on, if she was just kind of confused, but, you know, luckily we were able to get her down, and, you know, nobody died, so that's what's important. I don't really feel like I'm a hero, I just feel like, you know, I was just doing my part, you know.